Hey guys, this is Coach Rob with Moto E. Just wanted to take a few minutes and go over a, um, a modality that we use with athletes, uh, specifically after an injury. You can also use this, uh, this training tool. Um, hey guys, this is Coach Rob with Moto E. Wanted to take a, uh, a few minutes and just discuss a concept called ice cup therapy that we use with all of our riders. Uh, we use this ice cup therapy uh, predominantly after an acute injury, uh, whether you've hit the ground or you've wadded yourself up by uh, high siding around a corner or whatnot. Um, as a rule of thumb, what we say when you get into an accident is you're in a race against space and time. Your body perceives trauma. Your, your body's natural defense mechanism is to send as much red blood there as possible to try to facilitate the healing process. That's where you get that puffiness and swelling and you get a lot of the tenderness, okay? It's a self-defense mechanism that your body's put in place to keep you from going through any more range of motion and causing more damage. What I want to talk to you today about is um, uh, a tool that we use. It's a very simple tool. It's ice cup. Um, this is something that you can find at your, your grocery store. It's a little one ounce. They call them bathroom cups. You can find them in your, your paper section at your grocery store. And what I want you to do with these is I want you to buy a sleeve of these and have a half a dozen of these in your refrigerator, whether they're in your motorhome, whether they're at the house, at your track. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill these all the way up to the rim, and then you're going to put them in your freezer. Again, have six or seven of these always available, okay? These are the tools that are fantastic to have available, all right? What you're going to simply do with this cup is you're just going to peel away the first quarter inch around the top. All right, and what you're going to do there is this tool is going to give you the opportunity to do circular massage on a specific point. All right, now before you get into the ice cup itself, I want you to realize um, when you work with ice, the official technical term is called cryotherapy, and cryotherapy is the working of ice to control swelling and inflammation and trauma. But here's what I want you to realize there's three stages when you deal with ice you've got to go from cold to burn, to numb. Now most of us will pull off when it starts to burn, okay? Unfortunately, you've got to go through that threshold and you've got to get to the burn phase. The cool part about these ice cups is to get into the bony areas, whether it's in the elbow, in the shoulder area, around the kneecap itself, what you're able to do is with this cup, you're able to protect your fingers. You can obviously put a, a washcloth or something around it. And what you're going to do is you're just going to circular massage in that vicinity, okay? Now, why do we like to use these cups? These cups serve two purposes, all right? First of all, if I jam my elbow up, what I want you to think about is you're going to want to circumnavigate that entire elbow joint. Just because the swelling and the trauma is here, don't neglect the posterior side, all right? The bad part about getting a bag of ice and just draping it on top of it is there tends to be nooks and crannies where it doesn't make contact with your skin. So what it does is it doesn't get quite as cold, so you have to do this longer and longer. When you take the ice and you put direct pressure on and you circular massage like that, you see the water's dripping. That's because of the friction, okay? Your body temperature plus the friction is causing that ice to melt. Why is that important to you? Because what I want you to think about is you're not going to stop the circular range of motion, go clockwise and counterclockwise, all the way around the joint. If you've smashed a particular muscle group up, could be quads, forearm, whatever, say I did my middle deltoid, what I would do is I would massage my entire deltoid until this ice is gone. Let's say I jammed up my forearm. What I would do is I would just run the whole length of the tissue up and down, okay? Here's what I want you to realize. Let's take, for example, let's say I smashed up my forearm. You're going to use this ice massage up and down that tissue until the entire ice cup is melted. All right? If it gets to a point where it starts to go below the horizon of the cup, just peel it back. Okay? That way you still have a nice flat surface and you can just go up and down the arm. All right? The cool part about the ice cups is, as a rule of thumb, you don't stop icing until this entire ice cup is gone. Now, there's two things that you're going to look for. First of all, your arm's going to turn bright red. That's because of the friction that you're creating, okay? The second thing that you're going to notice is that you're not going to notice it. You're going to feel it, that it goes completely numb. Remember what we said earlier. It's got to go cold, burn, and then numb. This is a great way to know whether you did it long enough or not long enough, okay? Something else that I want you to remember, when you have what we call an acute injury, it has just happened. Do not introduce heat for the first 72 hours. You want to go direct pressure, 
with ice, 10 to 15 minutes, let it sit air temperature, we call it tepid air temperature, do that for another 10 or 15 minutes, come back to it. The more you can cycle ice and ambient air, ice and ambient air, the better you're going to control your swelling. Something else I want you to think about, unless the pain is excruciating, do not take ibuprofen. Why? Because when you take the ibuprofen, it masks your body's ability to sense that there's more pain and trauma there. You get a, salt, a false sense of feeling good. You go out and you end up causing more damage. Okay? The only exception to that would be when you go to bed. When you go to bed, it's a great opportunity for your body to heal naturally. So if you have to take ibuprofen to sleep better, definitely go for it. Okay? Remember, you need to listen to pain. It's your tool that you have internally that something's wrong. So give this ice cup a whirl. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me. My email address is Rob, R-O-B-B, the number three, at earthlink.net. And thanks for watching.